of another sanctuary product. I say another sanctuary product because I actually reviewed one of their facial oils um, a few weeks ago, so I'll leave that link to the bottom bar if you're interested. Today I'm here to review a face mask. This is a five minute thermal detox mask and this is a charcoal mask. Um, I know charcoal has become very popular in the last few years. It's kind of known, it has a wide range of benefits for skin, hair, teeth, lots of different benefits. I'll go into that there now quickly. But this is a five minute thermal detox mask and I'm going to quickly give you my thoughts on it. Um, on the front it says an intense warming charcoal cleansing mask for perfectly clean and purified feeling skin. So again, as I always do at the start of any skincare product, I'll tell you about my skin. It's pretty normal. Um, I get a little bit, it's not even oily, I get a little bit shiny on my chin and around my nose. Um, very odd breakouts, sometimes a little dehydrated, so all in all maybe a bit combo normal. Um, I have been sick recently, so my skin has been a bit different. Um, so yeah, that's the background of my skin. I'll quickly just read out a paragraph on the back of this because I feel like it does give a good description of what the product um, aims to do. Okay, so this self-heating mask uses warmth to help open up pores so that the charcoal and kale and clay can help draw out impurities from within the skin. Containing soothing and calming myrrh essential oils, the mask helps to remove excess oils to leave skin feeling purified, cleansed and silky soft. So basically the main ingredient in this is charcoal. Charcoal has many benefits, like I said. The main one is it's used to withdraw kind of toxins from the skin. It um, brings impurities and sucks the gunk out of your skin, brings them to the surface and hopefully gets rid of them. Um, toxins, in case you don't know, obviously, well, not obviously, but toxins can clog your pores and when your pores get clogged, you can see it on your face, it can look congested, you can get spots. So what charcoal does, toxins are actually actually cling to charcoal to activate a charcoal. So by the toxins being drawn out and kind of, they kind of stick to the charcoal, like I said, and then when you remove the mask from your face, the toxins go with it. So basically it's a purifying um, face mask. So yeah, it does aim to draw all the gunk from your skin. It can also um, pull any excess oils from your skin. So if you are very dry, charcoal may not be the best active ingredient for you because it can pull excess oils. Now I have to say, like I said a few minutes ago, I have been, when I do get dry or dehydrated, it's kind of on my forehead. I haven't found this to dry out my skin whatsoever. Um, if anything, it has reduced shininess on my skin and near my nose, but it hasn't, I don't feel it has pulled any, um, not that it hasn't pulled excess oil, it hasn't pulled too much natural oil, like there's good oils and then there's like over oil, it hasn't pulled any of the good oils from my skin so I was super super happy about that. So as it says on the front, you're only meant to use this for 5 minutes which is a really short amount of time for a face mask. I think most people when they put on a face mask they have the time to spend, leave it on, maybe read a book, go for a bath, whatever, it does say 5 minutes, I have left it on for much longer, it doesn't make a difference. The thing about this mask is that it does not dry. Some people kind of presumed, it doesn't say clay on this, kaolin clay. It does have kaolin clay in it but it does not dry. Um, when I saw clay I thought it was going to be one of those masks that dr goes dry and hardens on your face. It doesn't. It stays moist the whole time no matter how long you leave it on it does stay moist. Um, the main thing about this is the self-heating um, activation process in it. The minute this touches the moisture of your skin, it heats immediately. You can, I've never tried anything like this. I nearly want everyone to buy this just to get this initial shock of the heat. The minute you put this on, you can feel the heat. Now it's not a hot burning sensation, but you can absolutely feel the heat straight away. And what this aims to do is by there being heat by your face heating up, it opens up your pores and then the charcoal and kaolin can get to work straight away in like further deep cleanse your skin. So by opening up the pores, it can get into your skin and work and then bring out all the gunk. So yeah, that was my first major impression of this was the heating. I've never ever tried something that heats within a second, like straight away it heats. Um, the heat doesn't stay though. It does only stay on the, the heat only stays in the skin for about a minute. So it does not stay long. But that's all it needs apparently, just to open the pores and get the ingredients in your skin, into your skin to get it working.
for five ten minutes and then you wash it off I like to take it off with a muslin cloth again this is really really nice to remove it doesn't like I said it doesn't harden so it actually stays moist so it's actually quite easy to take off the skin I find with other kind of clay masks and thing like, things like that if they do dry they can definitely tug on the skin and they can be, be a bit uncomfortable to remove this is super super easy to remove and um, quite soft it washes it smooths around the skin and washes off very very easily so removal of this is no problem at all so on the back of it it did say contain soothing and calming myrrh essential oils um i find it soothing in that after it heats it kind of goes cold and you can feel it i suppose it is kind of soothing actually yeah but I'm not, i think that's just because after the heating your face kind of feels cooler so that's why I think it um, seems kind of soothing. Okay so afterwards what did I think of it afterwards? My skin did feel super super soft and what I did notice visually by looking at my skin I could see that my pores were less apparent they just they actually looked like they were closed. I can sometimes see again mostly like on my nose and around my nose I can see my pores when they're open like it looks like I thought maybe this maybe I'm just dramatizing things but I thought they looked closed it looked smoother it felt smoother my skin felt soft um i do have to say it has pulled like i have a spot where is it i have it covered but i have a spot here it can break you out a little bit because it's taking out the toxins and the gunk from your skin it does bring it to the surface so if you do have any underlying spots underneath the surface of your skin it will bring them out but by bringing them out that's good like it, your skin may purge with this product um purging just means like like I just said it brings all the toxins and gunk out so by them coming out that's what a spot is that's the gunk that's the the badness coming out if you kind of per se um I hasn't done a majorly bad thing but I feel like this spot was under I could feel this under my skin just way sometimes when you have a spot but it just won't come out and there's nothing there to burst you can't go at it it hasn't actually reached the surface this brought this to the surface and it's actually not sore at all um it's not red it's just kind of it's a spot but not as annoying as a normal spot it's kind of hard to explain um but yeah it can you this can break some people out but it, that's a good thing it is a good thing by breaking you out it, it is getting it just proves the point that it is getting all the badness out of your skin okay and you can see packaging wise it is quite sleek smelly there's no major smell off it it kind of just smells a little bit clay like not a builder clay but kind of like there's no nice smell off it, it just kind of smells clayish but it's not super um, potent or anything like that so it's nothing um, that bothered me. Um, price wise this is I think full price in boots it's 13 99 it's actually currently an offer on Sanctuary products which is buy one get one half price I think it's available online as well but I'll leave links to where you can purchase this online um, in the description box. So yeah overall I really really like this. Um, probably one of my favourite masks at the moment so if you've tried it out let me know and um, if you have any questions leave them below and I'll see you in my next one.